Next. So now I'm going to show you how to set up your swan when you are not able to use the hemisphere, rather you need to use the Vigilance 2. Reasons why you would use the Vig 2 instead of the hemisphere are going to be if the hemisphere is currently being used if it, or if it's broken. Um, if not, then you're going to go for your Vig 2. We have two of these on the unit still. Um, so plug-in cord for your Vig 2 is going to be in the back. Button's going to be here, so you're going to go ahead and press that on. As far as your cord connections, the same gray cord that we used for the hemisphere is still here. Going to plug into our gray here, and then we have a red cord similar to with your hemisphere, but instead the end of this cord will look different. This is one of the changes that Edwards made whenever they were updating the machine. Instead, you have still your red end of the cord, which is going to plug in here. The end of the red cord is going to look different. Instead of the clip, you're going to have to just slide in the blue clip here and press it in. You'll hear a click and those securements are made. So um, the only thing about this is it's pretty difficult to take this out. You have to really pull on it. Um, to get the blue clip out, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that in so that way y'all can see there. So yes, your securements are going to be pretty much the same except this clip here. So make sure that you get appropriate cords when you are using these monitors. Now here with the Vigilance, I'm going to go ahead and set the height and weight of this patient. I do not need to be putting in any other information for this monitor. Um, so to do that, essentially you're going to be using your toggle to go parameter to parameter and then whenever you have it over that parameter, so on height, I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now I can choose between inches and centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and do inches and we'll just say the patient is 5'6". I'm going to go over to weight, put my patient's weight in. We'll just say they're 83 kgs. Body surface area will be calculated, and I'm going to press continue. Okay, so I went ahead and put the monitor in demo mode just so that we could see um, some numbers on here, actually, since I'm not putting this, this one isn't in an actual patient right now. So to get your cardiac output running, similar to on the other machine, you had your green go button. This is your green go button. So you're going to press that and then after about a minute, it is going to get your cardiac output and will calculate your cardiac index. Your core temp is going to be down here. You got your time. You're going to see your graphic trends of the patient. Now, problem with this machine is that you cannot see what your previous numbers were so if you come here and it's been you know three hours since you last wrote down your cardiac output you're not gonna be able to get that back you can look at your trends and you know calculate if you'd like or just estimate but to get accurate readings you'll have to get this every hour so now I'm going to be showing you how to get your SVO2 so what you're gonna do is you're going to toggle over to where your SVO2 is I'm going to go ahead and click that and then I'm going to go down to in vivo calibration and I'm going to click it. Again it's going to do a baseline setup for 25 seconds. At this point I'm going to get my VBG syringe from my RT. They're going to be ready to get my VBG. I'm going to be drawing this from my yellow port on my swan. I'm going to give them the blood. Um, and the next screen is going to be that I drew the blood. I'm going to go ahead and press draw now. And once I get my results, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. So my, we'll say my SVO2 was, um, just say 70.5. And then I'm going to put my hemoglobin in. And we'll just say it was 7. Click in that. Hematocrit's automatically going to pop up. Once those three values are put in, I'm going to go ahead and press calibrate. It's going to take 25 seconds for it to get that value, and then I'm going to be continuously seeing what my SVO2 is up here. Again, on the side here, we have the silence button. Here, we can go back in time 
if we wanted to, but again, it's not going to be giving me those exact values. Rather, it will go back in time on your graph here. If I want to stop running my cardiac output, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but it's there, you'll go ahead and press the this button again and that will stop it. So now, like I've said before, you can see your SVO2 continuously here. You have those four bars set up here. Two, one to two is great. Three, starting to be inaccurate. Four is this reading is inaccurate. So do not go off of the SVO2 when it is that. I'm gonna go ahead and press return on here. And we're good to go. That is your Vidge.